For some, preparing to get the COVID vaccine can be as stressful as setting up the appointment to schedule the shot. Our favorite life coach, Leah Rasnick, is here with some guidance to help us through the process before and after. Welcome, Leah. Thank you, Joe. Good morning. It is good to have you with us. You know, this has been a stressful time for everyone. And I guess the idea is not to really overthink getting the shot. Right. Most of us are a little um, nervous, to say the least. We want the results, but we think we're going to kind of just muscle our way through all the side effects, right? So what are some of the guidelines that you would recommend before you get the vaccine? Well, we can strengthen the body. What the vaccine does is it creates, it's strengthening your immune system by creating an inflammation response. That's what the sore arm and the achy body is all about. And we think we just have to push our way through, but we can actually do some things for a week before and a week after that really help the body, strengthen the body, get through it. Things that are common, good lifestyle choices, like staying hydrated, drinking water throughout the day and limiting alcohol. Alcohol is very dehydrating, like getting enough sleep, making sure that before you go into the vaccine for a day or two, you lessen your responsibilities and definitely take some time afterwards, like eating well, fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, nuts and seeds, limiting the fast food, limiting the packaged food, eating good sources of protein. And also, interestingly enough, not over-exercising before the vaccine. Keeping your regular routine of getting movement, but not stressing the body or fatiguing the body by doing too much exercise before or after. And Leah, what about taking over-the-counter medications before you get the shot? Yeah, it's not recommended. Um, I know that we kind of want to protect ourselves from feeling any of the results, but sometimes uh, taking over-the-counter medication before the shot, they say, can mask allergic reactions and can even affect the efficacy of the vaccine. So it's not recommended. Afterwards, yes, if you feel some of the effects of the inflammation, but not before. Okay, and then after you get the shot, uh, maybe some guidelines there? Yes, well, first of all, Remember that severe allergic reactions to the shot are rare. So everyone's a little bit nervous about what's gonna happen afterwards. The CDC says only 11 in a million people have any kind of severe allergic reaction. And there are, there's emergency equipment on site at every site. You will wait 15 to 30 minutes, depending upon your history of allergy to vaccines and you will likely be very fine. And you should not skip your second dose. They say the effectiveness of this vaccine was studied with a two dose series, and it's not optimal. You still have some coverage after the first one. You still have some protection, but you don't have the optimal protection unless you f finish the full series. And I guess that people should be aware that there are some of the vaccines that need the two dose. The, the J&J &J is only one shot, but you, you need to be aware of that be, beforehand so that you know yes. what you need to do after. And it's likely that if you are getting a two dose vaccine, that they will set you up with an appointment for your second dose when you're at your first dose. Some of the, the sites are doing that now. And I think probably also we should make the point that even after you get the shots, it doesn't mean everything is over and everything goes back to normal. <laughs> That's a very, very good point, Joe, right? Because we wish that that were true. We kind of want to erase this whole thing, but it is not true. We still have to use caution. We still should be masking and avoiding crowded indoor settings. They're saying that the vaccine is about 95% effective, but not 100. And you still could be passing it. You don't really know, even if you don't have symptoms. And you are not actually, the vaccine is not fully active for two weeks after the second vaccine. So remember that, that there is a period of time there that you are building your immunity. Some good advice from you. We thank you, Leah. Thank you very much, Joe. And stay right there. We'll be right back.